Hi guys, got a CD update for you now. Uh, it's all uh, rock and metal, uh, generally metal. Uh, I'll quickly, I'll get into it quickly because I've got quite a few to show. Um, first one is a, a late birthday present uh, from my son. Uh, the album is uh, Gravity by Bullock for Valentine, which came out uh, this year, 2018. Really good album, I uh, listened to it a number of times now. Um, nowhere near as good as their debut album from long 2003-2004 I think they came out. Um, but still a good album. Uh, it's the back, I do like Bollock from Valentine, especially the first album. Inside, so that's cool for my son. Uh, listen to it in the background, we actually are listening to, on cassette, uh, Great White's Once Bitten, classic album, would enjoy it too. Uh, next one I, I got is uh, uh, by uh, Nita Strauss, and this one is signed by Nita. Uh, she is the guitarist uh, for El lead guitarist for Alice Cooper, and she's also been in the Iron Maidens years ago and also another band called uh, the Starbreakers um, and I really do enjoy her guitar work. Uh, no vocals on this album, just guitars and drums. The drumming is done by her uh, current boyfriend. It's really good stuff. Uh, there's the back. This came out just a couple of weeks ago. There's the liner notes on Diggy Pack. So that's the industry house. Album is called Controlled Chaos. Really good album. I've listened to this about five times now in the car and I really enjoy it. Uh, and the next, uh, quite a few here, uh, I got from a, a pawn shop. Um, I don't go in there very often, um, but I just happened to go in there by chance and um, I found a whole lot of CDs uh, for 50 cents each. So I grabbed as many as I could, can't really go wrong for 50 cents. Um, the first one is band, Finnish band Lordy. And this album came out in 2006 and it's called The Arocalypse. I really do enjoy these guys. It's the back and they, um, they dress up horror styles. Picture of the band, so there's the, the lead singer and the guitarist, and there's a picture of all of them. This is uh, really cool stuff. I really like this horror finish uh, metal band. So that is Lordy. Uh, next one, as I said, these are all for 50 cents each. As Trivium, and this one is called uh, In Waves from what year this came out? I can't see a date, but it's fairly recent over the last five or so years. Uh, but I do like Trivium, a really good band. New Age Metal, what I like to call them. And then an album I really wanted, uh, and I managed to find it there for 50 cents. And that is uh, Drowning Pools uh, debut album from 2001. Uh, there's the back, uh, the inside, uh, and this features the original singer who only was on this album. He, um, he died after uh, this album was made. Uh, this has got uh, the main song that came out on this uh, was the song Bodies. That was a really, really good song, that. So that is a drowning pool. And then picked up another Slayer record. And it is this one here. It is called. I'm not even going to try and say it. Diabolus in Musica. Something like that. It's back. I actually haven't listened to this one yet, uh, but looking forward to checking that one out. And a 
really glad we got this. Is, this is the only uh, Max Cavalera era Sepultura I did not own, and that is um, Schizophrenia. And 50 cents, awesome price. The back, I'd say that case is a little bit broken, but uh, I'll replace that inside. CD. I'd say that they they're all brought in from the same person I would imagine. Uh, the next one is the band. Uh, the, this sort of uh, melodic black metal, and it's about as far as I go in, in the black metal genre. Um, and that is Demu Bulga. And this album is called. Enthrone Darkness Triumphant from yeah, this one come out. Can't see a date, but I think it's one of the uh, one of the first few albums they put out. The back. I've had a listen to this, and it's not too bad. Oops, and now they've dropped the CD. But as you can tell, they go for the the black metal look, but it's more more on the melodic side of the genre. And the next ones I picked up are all from the same band, and the band is Cradle of Filth. Uh, first one is Dusk and her embrace, embrace, and this one came out in 1996. I think this is their first one. I do like Cradle of Filth, but I never owned any of their stuff before. Um, so I'm glad to fill up my collection now. It's in 50 cents each. Can't go wrong. And then there is. The Principle of Evil Made Flesh by Cradle of Filth. So it's really cool. This one came out in. Uh, can't see a date on it. But I'd say it must be about 97, 98, I would have thought. On the inside. So it's the second one. And then I have. Trailer Filth, Cruelty and the Beast. So that's really cool. From. Oh, this one's from 98, so that other one must be from 97, I would imagine. The back. And the CD. Next, I have. Bittersweet to Sukabi, something like that. From Cradle of Filth. Here's the back. This one came out in 2001. So I've got a lot of Cradle of Filth to listen to now. One of the heaviest sort of bands that I'd go to. Well, not, uh, well, I do go to a bit of death metal, but. Not much more. And then this one here, which I'd never ever even heard of before, it is called uh, Live Bait for the Dead. It's a live CD, double double disc. So that's cool. Some live Cradle of Filth to check out. Trail of Filth Midian from 2000. So I've got them in slightly the wrong order, but it doesn't really matter. So it's cool. And then this one here is actually a DVD by Trail of Filth called um, Mannequin. Mannequin. I thought it was a CD, but um, it's not. It's actually a, a DVD with um, a 
believe it's music videos only, but it also has some bonus features. So that's really cool. Check this out. Check that out one day. So it's cool. Getting close to the end now. This is actually my favourite Cradle of Filth album, and it is called um, Nymphetamine from 2004. I really do like this song, Nymphetamine. So that's that. That's the back. CD in the booklet. Second to last one now, and this is uh, Cradle of Filth again. Uh, Damnation and a Day from 2003. This one was from. I can't believe I found them all for 50 cents each. I think all these CDs cost me about ten dollars all up. So it's a real bargain. And the last one I got is uh, what's this one called? Uh, Godspeed on the Devil's Thunder by Cradle of Filth. And this one came out in, I think it was 2008. So it's a really good start to my Cradle of Filth collection. I'll um, be aiming to get all the, the later releases from 2008 onwards. It's up until today, uh, but that's really cool. So that's all the CDs I have to show this time. Uh, so I will see you again soon. Bye for now.